I'm probably confident because of uh, I don't worry about having Nigel uh, in front of me in pole position by two hundredths of a second, but uh, the confidence comes that I'm six tens in front of Damon Hill. That's the more, more important thing. I would like to have qualified ahead of Michael uh, and be where Nigel is, but the fact is Nigel is at least ahead of, of Michael, and that could play a part in the race, and uh, it may prevent Michael from... Uh, getting uh, getting some uh, a flow going if Nigel's ahead of him, which 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 would allow me to stay around, and uh, all I have to do is get past Michael. I mean, the best time to do it would be during a pit stop. Um, we don't know how many stops people are going to be making, but uh, uh, you know, tactically, it's going to be very very interesting. Now you have effectively missed four races this year, so your points are going to be from 12 races. Do you feel resentful? Do you feel badly treated about that? I don't want to put it in that direction that I feel treated now. I think we made a lot of experience this year. We have done mistakes. If the punishment had been the right punishment, uh, you can maybe argue about that, but uh, you know, we accepted what happened and uh, we started from new again after leading the championship uh, quite severe, but now we are here, leading one point and have to make up the championship. You've shown you can do it and all of Britain will be hoping you can do it again. Thank you, Murray, and I will be trying my very best for Britain, I can assure you that. Now, I hate to point this out, but you're on the front row of the grid. will anyway. But I will. <laughs> you're on the front row of the grid with Michael Schumacher, who is a demon starter, and your last two starts haven't been all that sensational. <laughs> They've been wonderful, Murray. You mean I've been going backwards? <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, it's, it's got to get a little bit better, but I seriously hope for the championship and uh, certainly for Damon and Michael that uh, the weather conditions are better. I don't think we really want the last race to be a lottery, and in these conditions on this type of circuit, I mean, it makes life very difficult. From Adelaide, welcome to the Australian Grand Prix with about nine minutes to go to the start of the race that will decide the 1994 World Championship. Australia is go! Mansell slides away where Wayne Packin and Damon Hill on the left, Schumacher leads. Schumacher leads at the first corner. Damon Hill has gone ahead of Nigel Mansell as they go round. Are they all going to get through the chicane? There's no, Christian Fittipaldi goes over the kerb, but mercifully, everybody is through the first complex of corners, and Michael Schumacher is leading and already pulling away as Mansell goes off the course and loses at least two places. John Lacey right up behind him. Micah Hackenden has passed. There is Damon Hill second, Hackenden is third. Barry Kello is fourth and Nigel Mansell is down to fifth position, a misjudgment there. Now this is exactly what Michael Schumacher wants. He's got a clear track in front of him, he's got the nimble, powerful, perfectly balanced... Out, out goes Schumacher, the German is out of the Australian Grand Prix and Damon Hill only has to keep going to be world champion of 1994, but can he keep going? Because he hit Schumacher's car, and if Damon Hill has to retire and you see smoke pouring off the wheel, that will mean that Schumacher will be world champion. What an incredible development. Front left. Yes, and I think hopefully, no, he's bent his wishbone as well. We can see it on the onboard camera there. He's got a bent left front suspension, but what, the, what needs to happen now, clearly Schumacher is out. The question is, can they repair Hill's car? Can he get out? And can he get into the top six and get a point? Or get two points, in fact. He needs a fifth, but it's not looking good. And there will be people, of course, who say, as we see this replay of Schumacher going into the wall, that that was a desperate manoeuvre by Schumacher to stop Damon Hill winning the championship. Into the wall he goes. Now, the question is, can Damon Hill get in and have his car repaired? You see the front left wheel is locked up. Now, Nigel Mansell is going to go through in the lead, but he was 54 seconds behind the leaders. Damon, obviously, extremely worried. The question is, how long is it going to take them to repair whatever damage there was? You see he's been in the pits for about 16 seconds now. 
and Mansell has gone through, Berger has gone through, Alisi has gone through, Hakkinen has gone through. And Patrick Head there's looking at that left front wishbone, Hill shaking his head, he knows in his heart of hearts that it is all over, and it really is not his fault. I mean, one kind of suggested that perhaps he shouldn't have gone for the inside, but really, I'm afraid, Schumacher should have known that at that point that he'd hit the wall hard enough that uh, he would have damaged it. There is the problem. You see that wishbone? The left rear link of the wishbone there is bent, and uh, I'm afraid there is no way they're going to change that in time or do anything about it to strengthen it for Damon Hill to get out. I really cannot see it. What a desperate, desperate shame. As Damon Hill retires from the Australian Grand Prix and the 1994 World Championship has been won, a lot of people will say, by default by Michael Schumacher as the Benetton team congratulate each other. They know that their man has won the World Championship, but he doesn't because he's still stuck behind the wire. Well, an amazing development. Schumacher would not want to have won the World Championship that way, I am utterly sure. But it really does look now as though if Nigel Mansell read to with a heartbroken Damon Hill watching the monitor, his heart must be turning over because this is bitter gall. He's won six races this year. If he could have just finished two points ahead of Michael Schumacher, he would have been world champion in only his second full season of Grand Prix racing. So, and that also means that Williams will win the Constructors' Championship, even if Nigel Mansell has to retire and score no points because they started this race five points ahead of Benetton. So it's honours even in a way. The Benetton team's man, Michael Schumacher, has won the Drivers' World Championship. The Williams team with Ayrton Senna, Damon Hill and Nigel Mansell as their drivers have won the Constructors' Championship. And Michael Schumacher, scarcely able to believe his luck, is, I think, unashamedly weeping tears of joy and happiness at the knowledge that after a very gruelling season when his team has been accused of cheating. But I really think this is, a, in some ways, it's a very, very sad occasion here today. This must surely leave a bitter taste at the end of a very difficult Formula One year. The frustration is just so self-evident there with Damon Hill. But this cannot be a magnificent moment for Michael Schumacher, not today anyway, because whilst he's driven some extraordinary races throughout the season, this, I'm afraid, is not one of them. He, as far as we could see, appeared to make a fundamental mistake on the left-hand part of the Wakefield turn there. He hit the wall on the right. That would almost certainly have ended his race there and then. But then he made a second mistake of cutting across in a desperate attempt to stop Damon Hill going by, being charitable, being uncharitable as a lacy gets going. Thank goodness for that. Being uncharitable, perhaps to even take uh, Damon Hill out. But um, we shall never really know, I suspect. But Schumacher has driven some magnificent races. Frank Williams ruining what might have been. The Benetton mechanics clearly elated because they've done a great job this year. The car has been tremendously reliable. But what a shame that it could not have gone the way it should have done with Damon looking so strong. But Schumacher still just ahead all the way to the flag.